Okay, we're here recording with the iPhone. It's a 5S, and we're using an iPhone app, an iOS app, named uh, Filmic Pro. And so there's several interesting things about how we have our setup here. Um, I'm using my iPod on a tripod, uh, iPhone on a tripod, and it's just a, a glyph uh, for the iPhone 4, I believe, so I've kind of got a cloth to hold it properly. Um, so a little bit of rigging to, to get that to work, but there are ones available for the iPhone 5 and other tripod holders for that matter for the iPhone 5. Um, one of the problems with using the good side of the iPhone camera is that you then can't see what you're filming. Um, you can switch it around so that you could flip the, the iPhone around so you could look at what you're seeing, but then the quality of that camera on the, uh, the, the screen side is not as good as the one that faces outward you know, in the other direction. So unless you have somebody who can be on the other side monitoring, if you're doing this by yourself, you need to have some sort of monitor. So what I have is the uh, lightning to HDMI adapter that is taking the output, mirroring the screen out to an HDMI, HDMI monitor, which is over to my left, screen right. Um, and so I'm able to see what the framing is like, and not that the framing is all that great right now. I've got a whole bunch of distracting stuff in the background. Um, but it is at least able, it allows me to frame things up, and I can you know, move closer and things make it out of focus. So there's a lot of practice and other things that, that I need to kind of uh, nail down, but basically this is a setup that allows me to at least monitor what is going on on the screen. The other part of this is I'm using one of the new microphones that we got in. It's a Shure MX150 microphone, um, and it's just a, a lavalier, a wired lavalier. I'm looking at the screen over here. I should be looking over here. It's a it's a wired lavalier microphone that connects via uh, XLR. Um, and so you might think, well, how do you get an XLR microphone to hook into the iPhone? And that's another device, an outboard device that I'm using called the iRig Pre. Yeah, the iRig Pre. Um, IK Multimedia is a company that, that sells these. They're about 35, 40 bucks. Um, and you can plug in any XLR microphone. It has phantom power with a, with a battery capability. So if you need phantom power for your microphones, you can use uh, that type of, of mic. Um, it'll also work with dynamic microphones like Shure SM58s and that sort of thing. Um, so we've got high quality, hopefully, high quality audio um, and, and good quality video from the iPhone and the ability to monitor that through HDMI to a, a separate monitor to kind of see how things are going. So hopefully this looks good and sounds good. Um, oh, by the way, the, the lightning to HDMI adapter is a $50 item. Um, it's, it's something that I found would be valuable for a lot of different things, um, but, it, but it's a tad expensive if uh, you're doing this personally. So if you've got an iPhone already, I happen to recently purchase the iPhone 5S, um, which I use for all kinds of things, but it also has a built-in camera. So that's an expense in and of itself. Um, but then $50 for the HDMI adapter, um, $5 for an HDMI cable, about $40 for the iRig Pre uh, amp XLR amplifier. Um, all the rest of the cables and everything kind of go into that. The Glyph sells for about twenty to thirty dollars. I'm not sure if if, if twenty dollars is about right or not. Um, and then of course some sort of tripod for all the stuff to go on. So that's the way I'm filming right now. And I'll do some more experiment experiments with this to kind of see how it works out in the field or uh, how it works in different places. All all of this I can't necessarily monitor things out in the field because I don't have a uh, you know, a, a powered HDMI monitor, but those are available and, and you know, we could try to rig something up like that um, to record with. So there's, there'll be some lots of possibilities to kind of expand with the different technologies that we get in. Um, but for now, this is the kind of iPhone high quality video recording that we're hoping to get. Thanks for watching.